Hello, we're going to look at some example problems uh, involving 45, 45, 90 triangles and uh, finding the missing sides. <clears throat> um, whenever we have a 45, 45, 90, we can remember uh, the formulas that we have. I'll just draw a, uh, the right color here. Um, whenever we have a 45, 45, 90 triangle, we know we have that right angle. Uh, and we can be told that either, you know, this is a 45 degree angle or maybe just that the two angles are congruent or just that the two sides are congruent. Either way, we call the two short sides S and the hypotenuse S times the square root of 2. Okay, so you, if you know that short side, you just multiply it by the square root of 2 and that's the length of the hypotenuse. Okay, so here S equals 8, right? That's our S. Right? This is s square root of 2. So, uh, you know, if x equals s square root of 2, then x equals 8 square root of 2. And that's it. Nice and easy. Right? Uh, another example, these ones are a little bit harder. We know this is a 45, 45, 90 because we have our 90 degree angle and we have um, two congruent sides. This time we need to know what those two congruent sides are, what the legs are. Again, these are s, right? And this is s square root of 2. So s square root of 2 equals 28. Okay, so we can uh, divide both sides by a square root of 2. Okay, these ones cancel. And so s is 28 over the square root of 2, but that's not in simplest radical form. So we're going to multiply by square root of 2 over square root of 2, and we get 28 times square root of 2 over. 2, right? Okay, and of course 28 divided by 2 is 14. So that's our final answer. Alright, you can check your answer of course by multiplying by square root of 2 and you get 28. One more example, what if the hypotenuse is the square root of 24? Uh, again, it's 45, 45, 90, so, and again this is s square root of 2. So s times the square root of 2 equals the square root 24. So again, we divide both sides by square root of 2, and this time we can, uh, when we cancel those, 24 divided by 2 is just 12. So this is just the square root of 12, which is uh, square root of 4 times the square root of 3, which is 2 times the square root of 3. So that's our answer. All right. Hope that helps. See you next time.